In this video, we are going to talk about a regulatory switch, which is notch repressor of hairless regulatory switch, which decides the fate of neurogenic cell, which can either become neuroblast or epidermal cell in Drosophila embryo. So here is the Drosophila embryo. And uh, as we know that development of nerve cord in insects is ventral. This ventral nerve cord arises from sheet of cells which is called as neurogenic ectoderm. This tissue is subdivided into two cell population. So one of the cell population include cells which will remain on the surface of uh, Drosophila embryo and forms the ventral skin or the epidermis. Or it can form other kinds of cell which will not remain on the surface of the cell and it will migrate inside the Drosophila embryo to form the neuron. So it will migrate inside the embryo to form the neuron. So if we talk about that cell remain on the surface of embryo, it will form the epidermal cell, which will form the skin of Drosophila in later stages of life. And the cells which are migrated inside the embryo will form the neuroblast. So the epidermal cells are skin cells, it will form the future skin and the neuroblast cell will form the neuron. Neuroblast will form neuron. So this was the brief picture of the whole scenario that uh, one cell can form, can become epidermal cell and one can become neuron. That is the fate of neurogenic ectoderm. And now we will going to see its molecular mechanism and its genetic control. As you can see on the left hand side of the screen, there is a molecular mechanism which is beautifully regulated by delta notch signaling, which will decide which cell will become neuroblast cell, neuroblast and which cell will become epidermal cell. So here again the Drosophila embryo, but now we will look inside the cell to investigate the molecular mechanism or genetic control of the cell. So inside the Drosophila embryo, there are lots and lots of cells and a group of cells which form a neurogenic ectoderm. There are the group of cells as you can see. These group of cells are forming neurogenic ectoderm and as we have already discussed, it can form either a neuroblast or an epidermal cell. So, one cell from these group of cells will take a fate to become a neuroblast. This neuroblast cell will try to will inhibit its vicinity or neighbor cell which is in its direct contact by delta not signaling to not to become the neuroblast cell or to become so hence they will become the epidermal cell so after inhibiting its neighbor cell it this cell will migrate inside the embryo and it will become neuron in future So as we have discussed, this neuroblast, this new neuroblast will inhibit the vicinity ectoderm and signal it to not to form other neuroblast and to form the epidermal cell. So there is a genetic regulation behind this uh, this kind of formation of cells. So there is a DNA segment 
on which there is a complex which involves the uh, co-repressor like hairless cytoplasmic binding domain and Grauco which binds to the suppressor of hairless. Now what is the difference between co-repressor and repressor? Co-repressor do not directly bind on the DNA segment but it bind on a DNA binding protein. In this case uh, it is suppressor of uh, hairless and uh, this complex now act as a repressor of the neuronal repressor gene. This neuronal repressor gene is repressed by this complex of co-repressor and suppressor of hairless. So as the name suggests, neuronal repressor gene repress the neuron formation, but as it is switched off, it can be expressed in neuroblast. Hence, the cells expressing this kind of switch, uh, switched off scenario, uh, they will become neuroblast cell. So all the neuroectoderm uh, initially have this kind of uh, switched off gene neural repressor gene and uh, after a long time when there is still no switch on uh, and uh, the switch will remain off it will become neuroblast now what happen if uh, this switch will become on or if it is switched on so there is only two fate that is one cell form neuroblast and one form epidermal cell and as the as the neuronal repressor gene will be switched on it will start repressing the neuroblast cell and hence it will become epidermal cell right so this will become epidermal cell now how this happens and what is the role of delta uh, notch signaling let's look into this so the neuroblast has a signaling molecule that is delta on its surface and uh, when delta of a neuroblast interact with the notch receptor of the epidermal cell it will activate the notch by the interaction of delta so what happens inside the epidermal cell is that there is a cellular protease the scissor you can see is the cellular protease indicate the cellular protease which will cleave the notch and this intracytoplasmic notch is active form of notch and it will enter inside the nucleus and bind to the suppressor of hairless that is a DNA binding protein that is already bind DNA is bound on the DNA and uh, this makes a complex and this complex this complex of notch intracytoplasmic notch and suppressor of uh, hairless act as activator unlike the co-repressors which were making uh, suppressor of hairless as a repressor so this activator switch on the gene and the neuronal repressor gene so it gets switched on and as this neuronal suppressor gene gets switched on there is inhibition of uh, neuroblast formation and hence the only option left that is formation of epidermal cell so if we briefly describe all the neurogenic ectoderm cell have their uh, neural repressor gene switched off and uh, if for a long time it is if it is not getting switched on it will become neuroblast cell and after the formation of neuroblast cell it will uh, by delta not signaling it will uh, switch on the uh, switched on the uh, neuronal repressor gene and hence uh, it will repress the neuroblast formation and hence it will form the epidermal cell so there, there, so this was the series from neurogenic ectoderm to neuroblast formation and then uh, of the, and then the uh, epidermal cell formation now in drosophila there is a very important gene that is a notch notch is very important in drosophila as and why it is so important it is also considered as neurogenic gene but why it is considered as neurogenic gene as we have seen few moments ago that that notch activation leads to the switch on of the repressor of neuron so if there is loss in function of the uh, notch there will be formation or production of lots and lots of neuron in the drosophila embryo uh, in later life 
So it is obvious that it is not good for the development of Drosophila embryo. And uh, yeah, there is excess of neuron production. And uh, now suppressor of uh, hairless is DNA binding protein and it is the main hero of the story. That is, it is the regulatory switch which can act as both repressor and activator. So let us try to understand how it act as repressor and how it act as activator. Because when it act as repressor, it switch off the neuronal repressor gene and lead to the formation of neuroblast, neuroblast and when it act as activator it is switched on it switch on the neuronal repressor gene and hence inhibit the neuron uh, neuroblast formation and leads to the formation of epidermal cell so it can both act as a repressor and also act as activator so there are co repressor like uh, uh, hairless cytoplasmic binding protein and Grauco when these bind uh, to the suppressor of hairless it act as repressor and as we have already discussed that repressor directly bind on the DNA segment and co-repressor indirectly bind on the DNA segment to repress the gene or switch off the gene so uh, DNA binding protein is repressor and it is directly bound to the DNA segment so uh, and uh, when this suppressor of hairless get complexed with the uh, activated intracytoplasmic notch it will act as activator and it will switch on the gene of the neuronal repressor gene which will repress the neuron and form epidermis so when it act as activator when it act as repressor yeah when it act as repressor it will switch off the neuronal repressor gene switch off the neuronal repressor uh, gene and hence lead to the formation of neuroblast as the neuron repressor gene is switched off it cannot repress the neuroblast formation and when it act as activator it will switch on the neuron repressor gene which will then inhibit the neuroblast formation hence the epidermal cell will form so this was the whole regulatory switch now the suppressor of hairless we are studying it in drosophila yes we have seen how it regulates the formation of a neuroblast and epidermal cell and how this this neuroblast will form future neuron and um, epidermal cell will form future skin in drosophila but its mammalian homologue is also there that is its mammalian homologue is also there which is CBF1 uh, also known as RBP this is CBF1 and it is RBP RNA binding protein its full form is RNA binding protein and it is a transcriptional repressor in mammals it targets various transcription factor as transcription factor 2D and 2A and uh, the link of this paper is given in the description below if you want it you can read it from there so this was the whole switch regulatory switch that is the notch suppressor of hairless regulatory switch so thank you so